In a split second, everything changed. We heard like this loud noise. One by one, bricks fell until a portion of the building completely collapsed. Inside, a woman stuck under a refrigerator, trapped there for more than nine hours. So she's basically got a safe space, but she can't get out of it. Rescuers worked tirelessly until the woman was finally freed. A heroic effort in Washington County to save a young woman trapped under the rubble. The building was so unstable, crews had to dig a hole through a neighboring wall to get to her. Now, she had been stuck, unable to move for about nine hours until crews finally wheeled her out on a stretcher. These are some of the incredible pictures of that rescue. And tonight, we're learning more about Megan Angelone's condition. Amy Wattis has been in contact with her family and joins us now live with an update. Amy. Good evening, David. And Megan Angelo's mom has been giving me updates on Megan's condition thro through the phone throughout the day today. She tells me that her daughter is in extreme pain here inside the ICU at UPMC Presbyterian Hospital, but she says her daughter is strong willed and she will fight this. 37 year old Megan Angelone had surgery late Wednesday night to relieve pressure from her legs. Today, her mother told KDKA over the phone that she has big incisions in her calves and thighs. She says if Megan wouldn't have gotten to the hospital and had surgery when she did, doctors said she wouldn't have been able to walk. This is the refrigerator that saved Megan's life, but was sitting on top of her from her hips down. Pima photographer Mike Harriton gave these photos of Megan's rescue exclusively to KDKA. This is the hole they managed to squeeze her out of. I'm grateful for all the people that were there to help her. We spoke to Megan's brother, Matthew Angelone, outside Presby's ER last night before he even had a chance to see his sister. It's just unbelievable to get a phone call like this. Megan's mother says her daughter's breathing tube was removed today and she is conscious, alert, and talking a little. She also broke her clavicle and doctors will have to put a metal plate there in a couple of days to help the bone heal. Megan's boyfriend, Nathan Engott, was discharged from Presby today and has been by Megan's side ever since. He didn't get trapped in the collapse, but in these photos from the Observer reporter, you can see him covered in dirt. As for Megan's brother, He's wondering what's next for her. My sister's going to come out of the hospital not having a, a stitch of clothes, a pair of shoes, air, eyeglasses, phone, everything. You know what I mean? She's just totally lost everything. Megan Angelone also has two sons. They weren't at that home at the time of the collapse. Now, the family tells me they are planning on opening up a bank account to uh, help Megan out on her behalf. Once we find out when they do that and have that information, we will pass all of that information along. For now, we are live outside UPMC Presbyterian Hospital in Oakland. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.